Hey, Yelena here, and welcome to another awesome Fix Runner tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to add expire headers in WordPress. A cache is a component that stores data so that future requests for that data can be served faster. The data stored in a cache might be the result of an earlier computation or a copy of data stored elsewhere. However, browsers cache can't hold a website's files forever. It needs to be told when to discard old ones and fetch fresh copies. And this is where the expires header comes into play. They are rules set in the header section of a website that tells the browser the specific date to discard cached files and fetch fresh copies. Before we add expire headers, we will head on to gtmetrics.com to see our website's performance. Copy your website's URL and paste it here. Then click on Test Your Website. It will take a few minutes to generate the result. Once the results are loaded, you can see a lot of information on your website. For example, your page score, your website's loading time, etc. If you look down here, you can see Leverage Browsing Cache. And beside it, the score, which you can see is not very good. You can get more information about cache and expire headers from our blog post. You can find the link in the description. There are two ways you can add expire headers to your WordPress website. First, by adding a WordPress plugin and second, by adding the code manually. To add expire headers by installing a plugin, go to Plugins in your WordPress dashboard. Then, click on Add New. In the search bar, search for W3 Total Cache. When the search results are loaded, click on Install Now. Then, wait for a few moments. When the installation is complete, this button will change to Activate. Click on this button to activate the plugin. After the plugin gets activated, go to Performance in the left-hand side of your screen and then click on General Settings. Now, we will configure the plugin settings. In the Page Cache section, pick the Disk Enhanced method and then click on Enable. This process reduces server load and shows a cached copy of the page to the visitor. Next, we will look at Minify. This just reduces static file size and is not always a good idea to use. Check with your hosting provider whether it will help your website. The same thing goes for database cache. It reduces the server overload by caching SQL queries. Smaller sites do not need this, so you might be better off without it. Object caching will help if you have a highly dynamic website. However, most sites are not dynamic, so you can likely ignore this area. The next setting is browser cache. Every time a user visits your site, their browser downloads all images, CSS files, and JavaScript into a temporary folder. So if the user goes to another page, the next page loads much faster. So we want to enable browser cache. The next setting is CDN, which stands for Content Delivery Network. And you want to set this up for the delivery of your static content from multiple cloud servers rather than just one hosting server. We recommend using a Mac CDN for this setting. Once you have everything set up, scroll down to the bottom of the page. Here, you can back up your settings and export them for safekeeping. To add expires headers manually in WordPress, you will need to access your WordPress website HD access file. These files can be accessed via the cPanel. First, log into your cPanel account. After logging in, click on the File Manager icon. Scroll down and find the section named Public HTML. 
and double click on it. You will find the HD access file there. Right click on it and then click on edit. Copy this code into it. You can find this code in the link in the description. From the code snippet above, you can see that images and videos have been given an expiration time of one year. But for CSS and JavaScript, they will be erased from the cache and replaced every month. After you have copied the code, click on Save Changes. Then close this file. For better efficiency, some webmasters take things further by setting what is known as cache control headers. Cache control headers serve the same purpose as expire headers in that they also set an expiration date for cached files. You can find the code for the cache control header in the link below. Note that adding a boat to your server isn't necessary as this might lead to redundancy. All of this above was for Apache web servers. If you want to add expire headers using Nginx web servers or for content delivery networks, check the link in the description. So this is how you can add expire headers to your WordPress website to discard cache after a specific period. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.